All right, hey everyone, Wanderbots here, and welcome to Dragon Marked for Death. It's the new co-op? Like, I don't know if it's turn-based or, like, action... I, it's something. I saw it at PAX, but I didn't go too close to it because I was like, well, I'm just picking this up anyway, so I'll devote my time to finding new things as opposed to things I know about. Uh, but I'm a huge fan of Inchi Creates. I like the Mega Man Zero games. I've never beaten a single one of them. I played ZX2, I think? Uh, that was the furthest one that I got in, and they're always fantastic. So I figured, yeah, let's check out the new one. Uh, let's see, and hopefully DLC. I just wanted to double check this. Yeah, so I thought so. So we've got the Empress and Warrior pack. So that's the dude with the shark armor and the lady in front. Um, so those are the playable characters. And then the Shinobi and Witch are the two characters we don't have. Oh, okay. Anyway, new game. And hopefully co-op just works. Uh, and do see. I just add myself? I don't I don't actually know how co-op works in this game. Uh Oh, that looks like it just changes the paint color on your head. Yeah. It's really quiet. You know, I should probably just turn up, up our Yeah, I oh, have to turn Oh, yeah, it down you at turned one it point. down. That's That's what's going on. Sorry. I was wondering about that. I like F and G. The characters that just yell. Yeah, let's go with F. He's got a little bit more body, and we are gonna be really dude. Always. Okay, so let's let's see how local co-op works in this game. Because supposedly it's got local co-op, I just don't know how to activate it. Looks like it's starting up a cutscene. Yeah. Oh. The Astral Dragon once saved a tribe of people who were on the brink of destruction. Receiving the dragon's blood, they became known as the Dragonblood Clan. However, the world was dominated by the Divine Family and bathed in the light of the Celestial. The people of the kingdom bore a deep loathing towards the clan. All for the kingdom! All for the divine king! All of the dragon, be gone from something! <laughs> I went too fast. Yeah. yeah. I'm not- I'm not continuing the dialogue here, it's just like, whoop, and it's gone. So maybe the pe people with the white hair are the dragon clan, then. Probably, yeah. Oh, I am sad guy. Child of your own blood, you desire power, vengeance. Oh, of our own blood, not your. Yeah, so an idiot. that's a dragon statue or yep. something that's speaking with him. Oh, I love the pixel work in these games. <laughs> we are the astral dragon. Atrum. Thy rage and grief have summoned us from slumber. Upon this world's genesis, we suffered defeat by the Celestial, leaving this world to the humans in their new age. We did retire here. We have abandoned power and war, and yet there are still those who would pursue us. There are those who use this power to enforce tyranny. They now force us to let our power be known once more. So shall it be engraved upon the Divine Family themselves, who dare to rob the clan of their lives. While we yet live, we will not abandon the clan. 
<laughs> oh, I've been doing too much of that today. And now we got shark armor. Uh, dragon armor. I suppose it's meant to look like dragons. Thou now bear the power to enact revenge, and thy body is proof. There are none who can stop thee in whom the astral dragon's power dwells. The divine family stole thy home, thy family and thy friends. Thou shalt judge them rightly. Quest start, shark. So how do I join? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Options, rumble, display aggro, button config. Jump dash slash. It might only be when you enter combat though, so. Unfortunately, there's, all I know is this game has local co-op. That's legitimately all I know about this game. Uh, that it has some kind of... Oh. Oh, I do have a time limit. Okay. Oh. So I've got a sprint. Um. Hmm. Let's pause for a second and actually look this up. See if it's a thing. Because supposedly it's got local co-op. Unless it's local network co-op. At which point... Bleh. Oh, pretty sure you have to clear this mission first. Okay. Mm, that makes sense. Let's start with that and then we'll figure it out. Okay, so what's the button to sprint? There we go. Let's go, go this way. But keep sprinting, dude. Now, when I play, will I be able to play as the female character? Ideally, yeah. Uh, and I wouldn't mind picking up the other characters, so... Uh, so it was the... This guy is a knight, essentially. There's the girl who's... What kind of fighter is she? I don't know. See, do we both have a copy? I actually... When I see local co-op... Uh, local co-op means you're playing off of one game. And ideally on the same screen. Yeah, that's... I don't... Okay, um... I, I don't actually know if local co-op means the same thing in this case. Okay, uh, this. And one of these was a heal, wasn't it? Heal me is up. No. Uh, it looks like maybe, uh... You get support characters and you give them orders? Yeah, possibly. So, it's, it's an action... That is a weird looking critter. Okay, I gotta check the controls for a second. Uh, move, dash, jump, descend, pick up item, quick chat, slash, charge, slash, mm -hmm. tackle, down, and L. Knock enemies back and move certain heavy objects. Okay, so this does not have co op on the same console. So it actually does not have split screen or anything like that. It, so I'd have to have a copy of the game. You'd have to have not just a copy of the game, you'd have to have a Switch yourself. And why are you bringing me on for this? I We've didn't been realize deceived. that. We have been deceived. Well, in that um, case, you can go take a break and I'll just play this game. Is that fine? I suppose. I mean, unless you want to hang out and just plot plot, but... You already brought me on for the other game. Yeah. I don't know. Up to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just check this out. And we'll see how it goes. Because I'm interested uh, I'm interested in seeing what Inti creates has created here. Because it, it looks like it's it's got like more platforming and stuff, but they might have You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Dragon's Crown. Kind of. I should play Dragon's Crown at some point. Because that'd be that'd actually be kind of fun. Um with the lovers and the platforms and stuff, it actually reminds me a lot of Child of Light that I was playing the other day. Yeah, but with an action combat system, which is mildly different. We may often find a way forward by taking a good look at the surroundings. Okay, flipping switches. So I can just fall through platforms. Not that it really changes too much. Okay. Yeah, it almost feels like this is supposed to be kind of like a pseudo MMO? Like they were they were trying to make this into kind of like an online what That's why thing? there's the basic levels of customization. Yeah. Oh. Oh I see you I need, need to bring up I need a block. A block, yeah. Yeah. You know, so you can party up with other people and play the game. 
Oh. Now I don't know how to... Lever the rope to drop the bridge. Yeah, so Dragon's Crown by way of Mega Man. Neat. It's a shame that you can't play this with like, another person on the same console, because, like, I don't see why not. It's one of those interesting things I've noticed with a number of games lately, because... Back when we were young, games, usually they had a solid campaign that was single player, but then they had a lot of mini games and things you could do multiplayer. Uh, or there were just those party games where you had the four-way race or a shooter or things of that nature, you know? Yeah. And granted, there weren't many fully co-opable games, but that... I, I remember getting Lego Star Wars and such, and I liked the fact that I could play with my brother, yeah. and we both had a character. We could help each other navigate the environments, yeah, because before, without that second player, what you would have to do is switch, like you would manually switch between the two characters. So while you inhabited the body of one, it would go in the other, or, or you would tra have to transfer the your control from one to the other. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you played Lego Star Wars, right? A little bit. I was not actually a big fan of Lego Star Wars, to be totally honest. The part why I liked Lego Star Wars was, uh, I mean, I was going back through the plots of the movies and I loved them. But then also, you could create your own characters and such with hearts. And I loved that. <laughs> One of these yeah. buttons. I know oh. that you dislike it when I request that we play MMOs together, but they're some of the few games, games where we guaranteed. can actually work together. Because well, the other thing, too, is it's understandable that everyone has a computer. So that's why multiplayer games work well with computers, because everyone usually has a personal computer that they use for not only answering emails and doing office work, but, you know playing games however families at least in my experience never had multiples of the same console why would they yeah if if they had multiplayer so, capability ultimately this game controllers. was i think originally designed to be put Single on player. the uh the 3ds uh oh. yeah and i think that's where this disconnect comes from oh here we go uh, so this is meant to be, uh, this is meant to be played on the 3DS with other players. Um, you and know, you kind see, of like... multiple people could have a Game Boy. Yeah. Because... And so, I think the thing is, uh, the games industry is changing a little bit. So those that desire more power, turn berserk, blah, blah, blah. Okay. There we go. Easy peasy if I do that. Uh, I, except for I've somehow become poisoned. I'm not sure. Oh, probably because I picked up the mushroom. Um, so the industry is actually changing. Handheld is dying. Mm -hmm. uh, or, or, okay, well, no, we, it's not we dying. Have we have discussed in the past that we believe that the Switch is eventually going to be the new console and handheld. Well, it is. Handheld. It straight up already is going that direction. Uh, Nintendo the other day announced that they were, um, Discontinuing the DS's? Well, not discontinuing the DS's, but, um... Let's see. Or were they making a smaller Switch? Uh, they're making a smaller Switch. I knew they were gonna make a smaller Switch. I knew it. And how big is it? And what does it look like? Uh, dunno. They've just kind of announced that it's going to be a thing. Um... And, you know, honestly, for me, I don't give a hoot. I would actually prefer a larger Switch that isn't... Like, I would... If they announced a uh, a, a higher quality Switch, you know, ran things at a better frame rate resolution, whatever. Oh, I don't think I can But get then that's there. a way for you to hook it up to your television and be able to record yeah. what would have been, quote-unquote, handheld games. Yeah, so if they announced, like, a, a really big, fancy Switch that, like, performed better... Um... I, uh, that, like, performs... Sorry, better... Oh, okay. 
Uh, I guess I'll just gladly accept the treasure chest. Because um, <laughs> you sent him on a little bit of a ride. Because, like, personally, I have no interest in buying a second Switch. That said, they're pretty cheap. Uh, com comparatively. So it's like, you know, it wouldn't be a financial drain to pick up another one if there were a number of, like, co-op games that we were interested in. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm much more likely to want to buy, like, multiple Switches than multiple PS4s. Because at least with the Switch, if we wanted to co-op together, you could just hold the Switch yourself. Um, and you would record on the screen. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'd record on the screen. And so, like, that would actually work really, really well. Um, oh, this is a tough little sucker. Uh, mm -hmm. but, I know that a number of people have had issues with, say, games that used to be co-opable as first-person shooters, but they can't anymore. Like, you know, the Halo series, for instance. Yeah. And people aren't going to have multiple Xboxes. Yeah. And, like, you know, I've considered picking up a PS4 Pro just for slightly better frame rates, resolutions, and load times. Um, but it's... Uh, I don't know. Personally, I just kind of prefer Super Local, but, you know, if it comes down to it and they come up with, like, a, a Switch Mobile, well before uh, they come up with, like, a, a Switch HD, I might just, uh, I might just consider picking up the uh, Switch Mobile so that uh, you and I could play co-op games like this or Monster Hunter or a couple other, mm -hmm. like, Switch titles. And yes, I realize that not, uh, oh, something unpleasant lurks ahead. Keep thy wits about thee. Uh, I realize that me talking about something being cheap is is more of a. Oh, we're back here, sort of. Hello. Whoa! What the it's like snap a snap. Is this thing? Ecus. It looks like a guy. Yeah, I guess you're right. I am an envoy to the celestial primatus, sinner. Listen well. The divine family, who rightly worships the celestial, saw fit to judge your village, and did so in co consort with the legion of divine knights. Thus was the will of the uh, of those who live in this world. We do not interfere in such affairs. However, that you would wield the power of the astral dragon who opposes the celestial. To avert utter disaster, the blaze of vengeance must be extinguished. Ah, he's charging. Is, is that a weird... Pod piece head butt device on his hips. No. Like, what's the deal with that? Hmm? Where no. the horse's head would normally be? This is a weird game. Yeah, the fact that they have these projectiles arcing at you. It's like, on one hand. They, can, I, can you do anything to dodge, or is this guy so slow because I am he is pretty a... damn slow. Uh, I do have the sprint. Unfortunately, I've picked up... Oh. Wait, do you have an inventory that weighs you down? Is that what's happening? I don't... No, I don't think so. Might just want to just wail on this guy. Oh, he, so I he have a shield. Down. Okay, so that's, that's how I get out of the way of that. And supposedly I've got... A block, but it only works some of the time, which I'm kind of confused about. If you dodge rolled through him, would you be able to avoid damage? Uh, no, the dash I don't think is a dodge roll. That looked like a shield. Yeah, but I can't use it all the time. Okay, well that's easy to dodge. Yeah, the block uses mana. I guess it uses a considerable amount of mana. Yeah, so it, it, it looks like it uses about two bars. Okay. Frustrating part. Oh, I see. No, it doesn't use two bars. It just blocks. Well, I'm just going to Rambo him at this point. There we go. Yeah, this is a weird enemy design. I like Inti, Inti creates his, like, designs. But yeah, this you really is just straight up Dragon's Crown. Questionable axe. Ha, huh, this is weird. So I'm gonna level up. Let's see how this goes. Uh, did, did I actually level? Okay. Our... Well, this is Monster Hunter. 
Okay, so I have an Ogre's Bangle, which is Strength and Defense. And a Felling Axe, which is Better Attack. And Monster Stake and some other stuff. Alright, uh... Can I... Next. Okay, there we go. And I do level up. Okay, so... Hit chance, number of attacks. Strength, number of... agility, intelligence, oh. vitality. What's loose? Luck. Luck, okay. And piety. Piety. Probably. Max HP, physical defense. Agility would be interesting. I'd love to see if it actually has like a direct effect. Um What I like about this universe is it's pitting dragons against holy like beings as opposed to the traditional you know humans versus dragons humans versus undead nature versus the machine light versus dark demons versus angels do you know what i mean yeah, yeah it's a, it's a different combination also were they astral dragons versus celestials is that how it was going yeah Yeah, you beat the celestial pawn, monster! The power that dwells inside thee is beyond the limits of humans, strong enough to consume souls. If thou truly desires power, feast upon souls without discrimination. Even that lowly creature possesses power worth dev devouring. Whoa. Hey, what do you want for with me? I ain't even done nothing. No, stop! <gasps> they have you out right. I mean, I got shark armor. Soul. That's probably where I eat things. Other than those who had journeyed from the village, only one other villager survived the attack. Oh, yeah, the girl with the horns. The dragon blood oracle, Amica. She was spared and taken hostage by the Legion of Divine Knights. A dragon blood oracle is only born once in a century. What does the Divine Family want with her power? Thou wilt only understand their intentions by hearing it from their own mouths. Journey to the Imperial Capital of the Kingdom of Medeus, seat of the Divine Family's power. Hide yourself among the forgotten of the slums, those who have suffered the Family's contempt. Hide yourself? Is this your first time in the city? How do we blend in? <laughs> uh, you're wearing massive dragon armor. Yeah, I know. Hey, no need for the death glare. You look like you've been through hell. Everyone here is the same way. Folks with the, some problem or another all end up here. All the time. Welcome to the glorious kingdom of Medea's finest slums. All hail divine king Medea's. We have open arms for those who come, and uh, no questions asked for those who leave. Everyone's got to deal with their own shit, uh, got enough of their own shit to deal with as it is. Uh, well, I'm already going to the trouble. May as well teach you a thing or two about life here. There's a bar near here where all the adventurers hang out. See you there! He's a big toucan and birdcage and whatnot. So wait, we devoured a thing's soul. Is there a mechanic for it, or is that just kind of a thing? I think it maybe happens every time you an defeat an enemy now. I don't... Perhaps. Oh, look! It's a kangaroo velociraptor. Ah. Oh, this city sits in the shadow of the capital. All kinds of folk wash up here. The people who end up here can only make a living taking on dirty jobs from all over the continent. At this bar, the jobs range from, range from finding lost pets to hunting the strongest monsters in the kingdom. The Divine Family only tolerates trash like us because we clean up after everyone else. You tell the young man you have business with the Divine Family. Business with the Divine Family? What could you... Oh, well, whatever. There's no way someone that high and mighty would come down here willingly. Your only chance is taking on jobs and making a name for yourself. That could get you an audience. And hey, the harder you work, the better off this place will be. The more folks might even show up. So let's see what you can do. We're all counting on you, for all our sakes. Wait, so we're... Amica has been kidnapped, and you're going to be slowly building a reputation so that you get an audience with the king and get her back. Oh, it, 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 I mean, it's just tutorial NPC stuff. Oh. Hey, come on in. I haven't seen you around before. Is this your first time in the city? This here's the inn. 
Before you set off on a quest, stop by to get your supplies in order. Okay, so equipment, chat settings. Ah. Oh. Good luck on your adventure. Sasaurus. The guy. Oh, you sure? I'm pretty sure. Young one, you've got quite an uninteresting aura about you. Hmm, yes, you've piqued my interest, piqued my curiosity quite a bit. I'll read your fortune for free. Hmm, yes. I see it. Your goal is should you wish to achieve them. The straightest path is the most dangerous. I can see many pa branching paths before you. Occasionally a single path. It may seem as if all you must do is simply walk down it. However, you should scout carefully. Only by doing so will you find the true way. You are useless. <laughs> I. What about the dragon blood? They, you... Apparently they detested fighting. Hey, uh... Oh, is that a fresh face I see? Welcome to my weapon shop. If you wanna don't want to return from your travels in a coffin, you should get some proper equipment. Do you know what I don't like? Hmm? You enter the inn and you enter this blacksmith shop and you see the character portrait at the bottom and them speaking, but you don't see them behind the counter or yeah. doing anything in the environment. Where are they? Ooh, can we see what the character models look like? Oh, uh, for the other characters? Yeah, I sort of wanted to. Oh, sure. Well. Uh, We can do that. I got to figure out how. You can't switch freely between them, can you? Maybe. Oh, look, you got a new axe model too. Yeah. Okay, so at least some things change. Let's scar. You're what they call a dragon blood, aren't you? I've heard rumors about your kind. They weren't nice rumors, that's for sure. Welcome to the general store. Take a look around. It's all meat. And bones. Well, not bones. Those look like fireworks. Oh, well, no, there are bones down there. With the fireworks. You really can tell this was made for the 3DS. The, the... Resolution? Yeah, the resolution on these sprites is fuzzy. Like, it's good, but it... Oh my god, how big is this place? All right, so that's how we leave. And they said that more people would congregate here the further you got into the game. Yeah. The more people you're able to collect. Yeah, I that's mean, it makes sense. Thing. And there's a little boy, too. Huh? Sure. Mister, how are you? Never mind. Well, I always play here when mom and dad are at work. Thanks. <laughs> I... Okay. The more I play video games, the more I kind of... Get this, what would I say? Character, okay, there we go. Oh. Oh. How do we, how do we save out? So if I wanna, okay, that's how we save. So if I wanna switch characters, I actually have to start the game over again. As one of the other characters. Well, why don't I uh, pass the controller off to you and you can, you can play as uh. Why? Oh, you said you wanted to play, uh, you want, Right? Yeah, never mind. You can only have one save at a time. Oh, here we go. Oh, I, yeah, I just wanted to see this. 